welcome back to my channel my name is iris for those of you who do not know me i am gonna ask them a couple questions on how they want me to decorate their room so i have an idea on what they want um let's talk about colors in your room do you guys want what kind of colors like pink pink um, white maybe whites okay um, that's it no a tent Oh, you guys want a tent? Yeah. Here I was thinking I was going to have it so easy. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Is that it? No, uh, some lights. So we can glow. Ooh. Or we can let the lights. So you want them on the window then? Yeah. Okay. Very specific. But let's see how this turns out. I'll also be doing a couple DIYs with them. So we're gonna Prior to this room belonging to my daughter's, it was my office. I'll leave a link below for that video. This is what the room used to look like before. It literally took me one hour to get everything together when they first moved in into this room. Okay, so this is what the room currently looks like. It's still kind of messy. We're taking out everything that used to be in here and trying to clean it out so that I can paint it because there is a couple damages, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Okay, so currently this is like all the little details, all the little defects that they have in here. This chair was moved over here and my daughter's put would play over here and they would swing on it and it made those lines. So it kind of damaged it. Again, this was all my daughters looking outside of the window, and well, this happened. And then there's a bunch of little marks. There's a bunch of little marks down there that they also um, did, so we need to take care of those. There's stickers. <laughs> um, but just a nice, fresh, clean paint job. Honestly, the color we're going for is just a tone lighter than this. So now I plan on decorating it for them just to make it more comfortable and actually a room they want to sleep in because they always want to sleep with me. But all jokes aside, this room really did need a makeover, so it was about time. It's finally that time to paint. Before painting, I decided to remove the blinds because knowing me, if I take them off afterwards, I'm going to damage the wall. And let's be honest, I couldn't reach the top of it, so I needed to use a step to be able to remove it. Short people problems. Prepping before painting is so important. I've damaged my floor before and damaged other things that I shouldn't, so please, please protect everything you can. So as you can see, I decided just to go a couple shades lighter and something that was washable just because having kids and then painting on walls and if you have kids you know the struggle comment below if you do because you know what i go through <laughs> covering all the damages they've made was not easy and you could still see it but i am not a professional at this so i have no idea on how to do it on my own but i did the best i could I finished the first coat on one wall. I haven't done this wall as of yet, but I don't know if I'm going to paint this one and the other one in front of it because I don't know if I'm going to have enough paint, but I did start off on the opposite one just in case. The bed just arrived and it has several different pieces, so we'll see how this turns out for me, but it arrived on the perfect timing. The wall actually just finished drying and it was just amazing timing. After I'm done with this, I will be also painting the closets. As you can see, I am trying to stick to light colors just to make the space feel bigger for them and hopefully make it feel more cozy. Where do I start with the building of this bed? The instructions were just pictures. You should have seen the experience we had. I was not understanding anything. 
typically I consider myself to be pretty good at these things, but it was sure fun! After about 10 minutes of staring at the same piece of paper, I couldn't figure it out. So my husband decided to take over and see if he can figure it out because I just wasn't getting it. It took him like 5 seconds to figure this out. Like, are you kidding me? After we got the hang of it, it honestly was very quick and it was something very easy to build. I was amazed by the amazing quality from this company. It's uh, actually Wayfair. I have never bought anything from them until this time and I fell completely in love with this item and I will definitely be buying things from them again. I honestly loved it. I was having a little dance party by myself. Don't judge my dancing. Okay, okay, thank you. I was pretty upset when I found out that some of my footage was lost so I didn't get to show you guys how the bed turned out at the end. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to it. This is the exact same video of what I got thinking it was the video I needed and this is how it looked. So sad. At this point, I was just trying to put everything back in its place, starting with the bed, uh, putting everything where it belongs, and just trying to see how it's going to look or give myself an idea to start brainstorming different ideas of how exactly I want this bedroom to look. So it was already the next day, and we dedicated this day to painting the closet and the door and also anything that needed the white accent just by painting it makes a big change into a bedroom and it's something so inexpensive to do but it made it look like we spent more than we actually did which I was pretty happy about so they still haven't seen their room they came in with their eyes closed I was so excited for them to see it but <laughs> let's see it Open your eyes, girls. I love it. I love it light. Go check out my previous video for the reveal. I will also link it below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.